Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Tennis Master, where in this video I'm going to be showing you how to select the right tennis racket for junior players. Now when it comes to juniors, the key thing to get right really is, is the length of the racket. So it's mainly done on height and not necessarily age, because as you know, some kids are going to be taller than others. Um, and with the help of Rafa here, I'm going to hopefully make it a lot more clear on and give you a, a much better idea of, of how to choose the right racket. So, like I said, it's mainly done in height of the player. So, if your child is 90 centimeters and below, they're going to be on the smallest, which is a 17 inch racket. So, they're going to be quite small um, and really just designed for kids who are just maybe doing a little bit of tennis at home, maybe hitting balloons, doing a bit of rolling rallies, or just doing some really basic stuff. But they're going to be quite young, obviously, at that height. The main introduction point for rackets is. When the kids get to 105 centimeters and below, then they're going to be on a 19 inch racket. So I have here a Minions 19 inch racket. Okay, so as you can see, fairly small, but this is going to be absolutely perfect for somebody who's just starting out tennis. And again, it's going to be 105 centimeters or shorter. So that one would be ideal. For taller children so if we go up to 120 centimeters or below or between 105 and 120 then you're then going up to your 21 inch rackets so again you can see if i put it next to it you can see it is pretty much exactly there we go two inches taller and that's your that's your head speed junior 21 so after that they then jump to a 23 and this is going to be for your players that are around about 130 centimeters and below so once they're coming up i would always recommend if you're buying a racket if they're kind of in if they're right at the end of this so if you're your child's just getting to 120 i would recommend go up because you always want to try and future proof um i've got children myself and these rackets especially playing on hard court will get beaten up quite quickly they're going to be scraping them on the floor. They're going to be chucking them around a little bit. So, so again, they don't. I wouldn't you know, see it as a big investment. They are going to be. They are going to get beaten up. So, like I said, that's a 23-inch racket, and that one is the Babla Nadal Junior 23. Um, that's a aluminium racket. Now, once you've got through 23, there's a there's a, a a jump up then to 25. Now, when you get to 25-inch racket rackets which is for players over one between 130 and 140 centimeters you then get to see more performance rackets available now if i show you so this is the wilson ultra 25 very powerful but you can see this this is this has got pro grade graphite in there nice thick beam this is a really good racket for junior because it's powerful um, you have rackets like the um like the uh, head boom uh, Babble App Pure Drive, you know, they're going to be good options. So, because at 25, you know, when I'm using a 25 inch racket, they, you know, they're going to want the power from the frame. But you can see from this one, this is a really, you know, really high end, high performance racket. They do still come in aluminium rackets, which are going to be much cheaper. So, for more for your recreational players, they probably go um, aluminium. But if your child's playing kind of a lot of tennis, two to three lessons a week and maybe tournaments at the weekend, then I would recommend get something in, in high grade graphite like this. You can get a graphite comp, which is which is kind of a fusion between aluminium and, uh, and graphite, um, which will kind of come in between cost-wise as well. But that's a, that's a 25. And again, looking at players who are between 130, 140 centimeters tall. So once they're above that, so then they get up to here, so between 20, you know, 20, um, 140 and 150, they can then go up to a 26 inch racket, which is just one inch bigger. But what you'll find as well, so this is a, this is a new Pure Aero 26, very popular with juniors. Obviously you've seen a lot of young players coming through with this, like, uh, as you can see, Fernandez, Ali Yassim, Alcaraz, uh, Runa as well. So very popular, very powerful, very, very good for spin in terms of, of, the, of the length of racket, 26 inches, but they also go up in weight as well. So, so as they get older and they start to hit the ball harder and, uh, and start to use different balls, then they obviously want something which is gonna have a little bit more 
weight into it. So that's your that's your 26. After they get past here, so once they're 151 centimeters and above, that's when they want to then go into an adult racket. But they want to. My recommendation would be if you if you're doing that, going to a ultra light adult racket. So something which is going to be round about the 250, 260 gram mark if they've gone onto their first adult racket. And, um, and my advice is check the grip because I know a lot of people will go online and not be too sure. If they're really going to their first adult racket, they're going to be 10, 11 years old roughly. Um, make sure it's a double zero or a zero because what you don't want to do is give them a, get them a nice racket. Certainly don't go too heavy, um, but make sure they get a nice small grip as well because otherwise, they won't be able to get the hand around the racket and it'll start to it'll start to spin and, and come out of their hands. So again, that's, that's just a rough, a rough guide to how you know which racket to get. The type of ball that they're playing on as well will, will kind of dictate that. So for kind of eight and under, you can, uh, hopefully you can see here, you've got kind of stage three of mini tennis where they'll be going across the side of a court, so kind of, kind of going width ways with a neck down the middle. That's where they'll be using either sponge ball or outdoor red. Now, the, the, the mini red balls, they bounce 75% lower and slower than a regular ball. So you get eight and unders if you get some balls as well. That's a good ball, that's a red ball. If they're playing orange ball court, that's where they kind of get a line across three quarters of a court. And they play from further back. It starts to get a bit more real because the balls are a lot more realistic. But that's an orange ball, and that one is 50% slower than an average ball, and also it has a 50% lower bounce. So again, if you're getting balls, get the orange. When they go to 10 and unders, so they then go into full court, but they use a low compression ball. So this one bounces 25% slower and has a 25% lower bounce than a standard ball. And then after that, they then go on to full court ball or, or full court with a full yellow ball. And that's basically where they're playing, playing full tennis. So in a nutshell, get your child a racket by height. Think about how much they're playing. If they're playing a lot, maybe go for a graphite composite racket or go for a full graphite racket. Certainly when you get up to the kind of 25 and 26 inches, I would say below that, the aluminium rackets are gonna be are gonna be absolutely fine. And again, hopefully just go through with that. You've got 90 centimeters or below, they wanna be on a 17 inch racket. 105 centimeters or below, they wanna be on a 19 inch racket. 120 centimeter and below, they wanna be on a 21 inch. 130 and below, they wanna be on 23. 140 below, they wanna be on a 25. 150 and below, 26 and then above that onto an ultra light or super light adult racket with a low grip size, a grip zero or double zero. So I hope that makes it a little bit clear on what you should be getting. Um, I'll see you again in future videos. Okay, thanks for watching.